Hey, what's up you guys? Super excited about today's video. I am going to be giving you guys a nine month update on me quitting my job. I'm gonna be completely transparent, completely open, completely honest, completely raw with you guys about how I am physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, everything that has taken place. It has been nine months, you guys, which is crazy. Um, you already know what time it is. It's your girl, Ebony Eyes, your number one life coach here to raise the consciousness of humanity. If you are not subscribed to this channel, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel because I'll be dropping some knowledge. I mean, bossing up, leveling up. Um, there's so much knowledge, especially in the shorts that I have and also all of my videos. Y'all check out them shorts. I know y'all be in them com in them comments like, whew, that was a good one. Like this was needed for me. Um, I truly love being a life coach. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, you're going to want to subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on all these gems I'll be dropping. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. But let's get into it, you guys. Let's get into it. Stay to the end of this video. So because if you are experiencing having those thoughts and feelings of you wanting to quit your job yeah watch this video through its entirety so you can uh gain some knowledge gain some confidence gain some encouragement um gain gives gain some tools that i'm about to drop on you guys okay let's get into it y'all unbelievably it has been nine months okay it's been nine months and i kind of want to say long months but in the grand scheme of things it hasn't really been that long. It, it hasn't been that long at all. These nine months have really flew by and I woke up like, you made it. <laughs> like Ebony, like you're making it like, and I just broke out into tears. I was overjoyed. Like you, you're living your dream. You're, you're doing it. You're making it. You're surviving. And I knew that I would because abundance is my birthright. Abundance is your birthright, you guys. It is okay to ask for what, if you had a goal, a vision, a dream, it is okay to ask God to, to assist you with that dream and goal in your, in your vision. Like God wants to do that for you. The universe wants to bring experiences into your life that is going to aid you into you following your dreams. God wants you to be fulfilled, okay? God wants you to be fulfilled. So if y'all watching this video and you haven't watched um, my video, um, me quitting my job with no backup plan, I will link that video at the end of this video. That way you can snag uh, that video and then reflect back on this one because that's a really good video too. Super encouraging, super empowerment, uh, super powerful. Okay, so look at that video. But um, let, let's just recap on where I worked, why I quit my job, and then we'll get into how it's going. So I was a correction officer, um, did it for several years with a break in between, and um, it became slavery. I had went through um, a spiritual awakening. I knew I started to manifest things, and the more I elevated my mind, the more I started to grow consciously, the more I started to really wake up, I, I knew that I wasn't aligned with this job anymore. Um, I loved working for at the prison. I loved being a correction officer, but I knew I was no longer in alignment. Um, the environment. Let me just give you a brief example of the environment. You walk in, my coworkers, other officers, they're super cool, but everyone's exhausted. Everyone's complaining. Um, let me give you a brief rundown of what the day would be like. And when I, so you guys can understand that I was no longer in alignment and my job became slavery. I had to get out. I need you guys to understand why it, why, why I use the word slavery. Okay. <laughs> Cause it, it literally became slavery. So, um, you wake up, um, I work the day shift. And so the day shift is from six to two, but you got to be the roll call by like 5 45 AM. Okay. Um, and prisons are not around the corner. They're not in the city. You've got to drive a distance to get to a prison because they're in the middle of no man's land to prevent escapes. So my drive was probably about an hour. So to get to roll call at by 5.45 a.m., I was waking up at like 4, sometimes 3.30, 3.50, 4 a.m. at the very latest, probably pushing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ex extremely exhausted okay nobody wants to be up at 4 a.m doing some shit that they don't want to do if i'm up at 4 a.m it's because i'm doing something that i want to do you know what i'm saying nobody wants to get up at the time to do some shit that they don't want to do for someone else okay so everyone that already sets the tone everybody's in a bad mood you know what i mean you get to roll call roll call is about 15 minutes um you get to your unit you you know what i mean you accept the unit you do everything you got to do for your unit but um it became slavery because when the pandemic hit, a lot of officers quit. Nobody wanted to be in a prison. There was a there was a lot of spread of COVID. Um, there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of worry. There was a lot of stress. So we were short officers. And it became to be like the unit that I worked in would have like 180 inmates, right? And it's supposed to be 
it was supposed to be at least six of us on the floor, at least six officers. And some days it got down to like maybe like three or four officers and we're like, what the heck? But not only, so so because we didn't have officers, then they're keeping the other shift over to fulfill those spots. And same for my shift, because the next shift was gonna be short, they were calling us saying, you're gonna have to stay for the next shift. Mind you, we've been up since like 4 a.m., we're exhausted. Um, be working in a prison is a lot of footwork, it's a lot of escorting, it's a lot of cuffing, it's a lot of this, taking this, this inmate to over here. It's a lot of supervision, it's a lot of rounds, it's a lot of feeding, it's a lot of work. You're on your feet moving that ass, okay? Um, the, the job itself is enjoyable. I really enjoyed being the officer, but I didn't like how, um, how everything was ran and how everything was unfolding. So fast forward, um, um, so they created a list, like a mandatory stayover list, and they will go through the list and they will call you when you're when you're next up on the list. And I kid you not, we were running through these lists like crazy. It seems like every two days they were calling me saying, you're up on the mandatory stayover list. And it's like, I just stayed over, you know what I mean? I signed up to work my shift, not my shift and Susie's shift, not my shift and so-and-so shift, you know what I mean? But the prison has to run. The prison can't just close for the day, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's open 24-7. No, so they started to call people all the time. Like you're you're up on the mandatory stay over list. Mind you, we're exhausted. We're worth this first, first shift. First shift is 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Second shift is 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. So if you're working the second shift, that means you're at work from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And by the time you get home, you're leaving out of there maybe 10.30. You get home 11.30, maybe 12. Getting home, showering, trying to pack a lunch because you don't just call Uber Eats when you work in a prison. Don't work like that. They can't get on grounds. <laughs> they fuck around and get popped. <laughs> you can't just call Pizza Hut and say, hey, drop off this pizza. It don't work like that when you work in a prison. You've got to pack a lunch, okay? So you get home, you're trying to pack a lunch. By the time you get to bed, it's like 1 a.m. And then you got to be back up at 3 o'clock, 4 a.m. again to get back to your shift, okay? So people were exhausted. I kid you not when I say people, when we, I kid you not. Every day at roll call, at least once a week, we was hearing about officers falling asleep at the wheel, wrapping their calls around poles because they're exhausted, um, officers committing suicide. And that began to weigh extremely heavy on me extremely heavy like like okay i'm already not in alignment with this job and now there's so much death around me like i can't I, I refuse to do this anymore i am not going to do this anymore so then i thought about it like okay maybe you should look for another job and i'm like the fuck like i don't want to work for nobody i just had this burning feeling in me like god was calling me like ebony walking your gifts walking your gifts operating your gifts so finally fast forward i won't go into um the, the the cycle of me deciding okay i'm gonna finally gonna quit catch that on the other video but um i decided to i decided to quit okay so fast forward to <laughs> when i actually quit i didn't know how i was gonna make the money i didn't know how the money was gonna be flowing i didn't know how i was gonna pay my bills but what i did know was that i was destined for greatness I did know that abundance is my birthright. I trusted in God. I trusted in the God that's in me. I trusted in my abilities. I trusted in my knowledge. I trusted in my dream. I trusted in the things that I wanted to accomplish. And don't get me wrong, um, fear, worry, doubt set in. A lot of the times um, I became super emotional, but to counteract that, I was doing affirmations. I was reminding myself, Ebony, abundance is your birthright. The matrix teach us that we have to work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard to make X amount of dollars and then make a, a 401k and then retire at 60 and then die. That is not life. And the more conscious I became, I'm like, absolutely not. You do not have to work your ass off to make money. You literally can do the things that you want to do, do what's fulfilling for you and you can make money. What, if you guys don't have a side hustle, if you work a nine to five and you don't have a side hustle, you don't have a business, you don't have any kind of hustle for yourself, I encourage you to create a hustle. Um, I just made a video about that as well. I'm going to link that at the end of this video. So those two videos will be linked at the end of this video. But create a side hustle because literally it is a, a endless portal for money to come through to you. It is a way for you to make money with no cap on it. Okay, when you work for somebody else, it's always going to be a cap on it. But anyways, um, I kept telling myself abundance is your birthright, Ebony. Like, don't be, don't be scared. Don't be fearful. I really worked on my mind. Literally, when I say worked on my mind, I brainwashed myself for success because 
when you when fear and worry and doubt sets in you start to lose hope and you start to lose sight and that's a blockage for progression um so i knew like okay stay in high vibrations you're going to start attracting money evan you are going to be a money magnet i knew that i wasn't going to let nothing knock, lock me off my rocker i knew that i was i had to cut phone calls i had to cut hanging out with people because i literally needed my mind to focus on the prize i didn't want any distractions i didn't want to hear any negativity i didn't want to be a part of any drama any low vibe anything low vibration that i knew that was gonna fuck up my abundance flow i didn't want nothing to do with it so i cut off everything and literally every day um excuse me guys this is what i said to myself in the morning i would look in the mirror and say ebony you live in a an abundant friendly universe a universe designed to serve you i would say this in the morning and, at, and, um, and before bed, at least 15 times, I will look at myself in the mirror and stare at myself and say this, Ebony, you live in a friendly, abundant universe, a universe designed to serve you. Ebony, you live in a friendly, abundant universe, a universe designed to serve you. I would say that over and over 15 times in the morning, 15 times at night. And let me tell you, a lot of the times I didn't want to say it, but I knew I had to reprogram my mind because anytime those doubts set in, like what you going to do and money, not gonna, uh -uh, I had to nip it in the butt and like get rid of those limited beliefs and those thoughts immediately. And it started to work. You know what I mean? I was literally transforming my mind. And I mean, a lot, a lot of the times I did struggle, but you, you have to be consistent. Just like we be consistent, like punching that clock. You've got to be consistent at pursuing the thing that you want to pursue. So let's talk about pursuing your dreams and pursuing the thing that you want to do. Um, so for those of you who want to quit your job and want to get out of a nine to five, I encourage it. I encourage it wholeheartedly. But I also do want you to have a plan. You can't just quit your job and... I mean, I quit my job, but I knew I wanted to pursue life coaching, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I didn't have a backup plan or how it was going to happen, but I knew the direction that I was going in. Um, you've got to have a, some kind of service. You've got to have a direction that you're going in because you you this is the law of exchange. You cannot gain something without giving something. Um, you've got to, you've got to find a way to give back to mankind, give back to humanity. You've got to find a way to serve others. You've got to find a way to make the world go round. Once you do that, you are opening up a portal for money to come through. You are opening up a way for the universe to, um, to circulate money because money is energy. Um, you've got to, you've got to do that for the universe to circulate money through you and to you. Um, because you're not going to just quit your job and then just sit on the couch and that money is just flowing to you. Um, yes, in some circumstances, you can manifest money, money that way. And I'm going to make a video on how I manifest money uh, without having a job. Y'all stay tuned for that because I'm going to do that. Hopefully, I could uh, make that video tomorrow, but that's going to be a really good one. But you you have to you have to do something. You have to put your set set yourself up for success. Put yourself in a position to where money can flow to you. Okay. So if you want to quit your job, think about what it is that you want to do. Think about I didn't say think about how you're gonna do it. Don't do that because that's gonna create fear, a lot of fear, a lot of doubt is gonna set in. Don't worry about how it is that you're gonna accomplish it. Just set set down and tell yourself, what do I want to do? That's all you need to do. Don't don't worry about the understanding the capacity of how you're going to do it. That's where faith kicks in. Just say this is what I want to do and start to make a plan for you to um start doing that as your side hustle and then slowly transition out. Um if you need help transitioning into your goal, into your gift, um transitioning out of the matrix out of your 9 to 5, holla at me. Book a session with me. Let's talk about some things and let's get some momentum flowing around around your dreams, your vision. Um I have already helped three people transfer transition out of um out of their nine to five into their their goals their dreams it doesn't matter what it is that you want to do god got your back i promise you <laughs> he promises y'all promise you he promises you but i am a living um i am a living testimony of what god can do okay so let's get back into it um so I started brainwashing myself for success. I started telling myself, you know, you are destined for greatness. Abundance is your birthright. There is literally writings all over my windows, all over my walls, literally brainwashing myself for success. And you want to do it in the morning because you're you're just waking up and your subconscious mind is more active still. And your subconscious mind is the one that is um, the creator for you. That That's where your, crea your creativity is That because God is the creator, so are we. But that's where our creativity lies. And you want to do it before bed because um, you're, that's... 
your your subconscious mind is about to kick on it, it is most active when you're sleeping so right before you go to bed if you're saying these things that's the only thing that your subconscious mind is thinking about and in the morning when you wake up your the universe is going to be looking for circumstances to bring into your experience that support what you're trying to create if that makes sense okay so in the morning and at night um, I did a lot of visualization a lot of visualization um, I talked to myself in the shower um, I talk to myself when I'm driving. Um, I sing about it. I'll put music on and instead of singing the lyrics, I'm singing my dreams. I'm singing what I want. I'm singing about money. I'm singing about about my dream car. I'm singing about my dream house. I'm singing about life coaching. I'm singing about the things that I want to come into fruition. Um, so you literally have to brainwash yourself. I literally brainwashed myself for success and it took a lot of mental discipline. Um, and there, there's a lot of days, you know, where I was like, fear, worry, doubt was setting in. And I just elim I just nipped it in the butt right away with saying affirmations. Nope. Um, another key thing, what I did when I got those limited beliefs, I named my, th those limited beliefs comes from your ego. Okay. Anytime you get a, a bad thought, a limited belief, or what if this happens? Or what if I just drive over here and this, anything that does not serve you, I gave, I gave that, whatever you want to call it, your ego, your self, your, um, your conscious mind, um, I gave it a name and I noticed that that was very powerful. Um, I call it Karen. <laughs> I call it Karen. Okay. I call my limited beliefs Karen because Karen is always, a Karen is always nagging. A Karen is always, you know, bringing that drama, bringing that mess. So I call my, um, my ego Karen. So anytime a limited beliefs kicks in, like what you going to do about this money? I say, uh, uh, I say, Karen, miss me with that bullshit. Literally, that's how I talk to those limited beliefs. I say it out loud. I don't say it in my head like, no, Karen. You know, I don't say it in my head. I say it out loud because I need control of Karen. I'm whipping Karen into shape. I am taming that ass, okay? I say, Karen, miss me with that bullshit. Those limited, I, I don't want to think thoughts that do not serve me. Those thoughts do not serve me. I only want to think thoughts that serve me because those thoughts are pointless. I live in a universe, an abundant, friendly universe, a universe designed to serve me. That is what I say every time I get a limited belief. Every time I get a belief that is fearful, that is doubtful, that brings worry, that brings anything that doesn't make me feel good, anything that's unsettling, Karen, miss me with that bullshit. Though I don't want to think thoughts that do not serve me, Karen. I only want to think thoughts that serve me. Those thoughts are pointless because I live in a friendly, abundant universe, a universe designed to serve me. And when I tell you that is extremely powerful, I started when I started implementing that, I started to see things shift even more fast, like, like more fast, faster, more fast faster in a faster way <laughs> in a more faster way i started to see things really shift and i started to become at ease even when i didn't know where the rent money was gonna come or where the light bill money was gonna come or the gas money was gonna come or if i felt like i needed to reach out somebody for help like i started to see things shift and a lot of the times things came at the last minute like oh my god you be you you play too much man you play too much because the rent due on the first I swear sometimes it'll be like the 29th and then some, some shit will finally come through. And I'm like, girl, why you got to do me like that? Why you got me dangling on a cliff all month? But I already know what it is. Like you have to, you have to have that faith. You have to trust. God is looking like, do you trust that I'm going to take care of you? Do you trust that I'm going to provide for you? I called you to do this job. I called you to step out. I called you to walk in your gift. I called you to do this. Do you trust me? And I'm like, I trust you. <laughs> It's getting much easier, you guys. It's getting much easier. And I'm not going to front like everything is rainbows and sunshine. There are some dark days. There's uh, There's been a lot of tears shed. There's been... Um, but but the tears being shed... Um, I don't, I'm not too hard on myself when I cry about some things. I give myself grace. Because it's also a purge for me. It's also a release of getting nigga... Getting nigga... <laughs> It's also a release of getting rid of those um, those unsettling emotions, those old thoughts. It's like picking up the the weight and getting rid of it, just like pushing it out. Because I notice after I cry, whatever the topic is, I don't worry about it no more. But the crying has become <laughs> less. And you guys, I am being so open, so honest, so completely transparent with you guys. So uh, please no negative comments about that. <laughs> Sometimes. But 
brainwashing yourself for success reminding reprogramming your mind that we, you live in an abundant universe and the universe is designed to serve you those are key factors staying in high vibrations um excuse me guys i need to get some water staying in high vibrations though y'all water is everything y'all see this drink your water staying in high vibration um in positivity positive attitude um staying in the flow knowing that you can do this is key because because it, it, it makes you a receiver you have to be in receptive mode and the bottom line is if you're not in receptive mode those limited beliefs it's really a blockage for um for money to flow to you if you're looped up in gossip if you're looped up in drama looped up in any kind of mess that is a blockage because abundance luxury and wealth don't live in the same house as mess you guys ever heard that term god don't bless no mess that is a real thing and that's because of the laws of the universe and because of the law of money when you live an abundant luxury life like you cannot be involved in mess it compromises it it um it puts it puts money in a chokehold it's money is not attracted to drama it it, it doesn't live in the same house so <clears throat> So making sure you're in high vibrations, I literally brainwashed myself. And any time I wasn't in high vibration, like I, I wrote on my, um, on my mirror stand, the vortex. And the vortex, if you guys are, don't know who um, um, Abraham Hicks is, she calls it the vortex. You're staying in your vortex of happiness um, to attract the things that you want to. So I wrote on my window, um, stand the vortex or my mirror stand the vortex at me. So and it, it's just a constant reminder. Anytime I go in the bathroom, anytime I walk past my window, anytime I walk past the mirror, stay in the vortex at me, stay happy, stay positive, know who you are, Ebony, know who you are. Literally, when I say that you have to spend every waking moment of reprogramming your mind until you get there, then it's really like that reprogramming your mind um so i had i had been reprogramming my mind i was on a high i was on a good one i was um you know really living well and then out of nowhere like three months into it like fear set in again i'm like what the hell and, and it just came to show like okay ebony you know what there's been so much momentum on the bullshit and everything that you've been lacking and all those limited beliefs and all those fear and doubt there's been so much momentum like i'm 35 years old there's been 35 years and we'll say 34 there's been we'll say 32 there's been 32 years of negativity 32 years of momentum built around all this bullshit you've got to continuously work at the positive shit because it's only been two years, three years that you're that you've been reach uh, programming your mind and transforming who you are. I'm like, that's not enough. OK, OK, God, I get it. I get it. There's been so much limited beliefs like you have really got to reprogram your mind. You've got to stick to it. You've got to stay at it. It's work. Literally, it's work. It was so much work because those limited beliefs kicked in. And you know what I started doing? I ain't no shame in my game. I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I was doing. I started doing Instacart. Um, I, and I was making some decent money doing it. But then I was like, I said, God, this is not in alignment with who I am. Like, I was like, hold on. You moving backwards because of fear, Ebony. You moving backwards because of fear. No, you didn't go to a nine to five, but you're running Instacart like a nine to five to make X amount of dollars by X amount of time. You might as well be at a job. The only difference is you ain't punching the clock. You can start and stop when you want to. I said, no, 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 no. I'm running so many hours to accumulate so much, so um, so much money, and doing so many orders on Instacart. Like, Ebony, stop! Like, you're this is chasing money, Ebony. You're supposed to be attracting money. You need to go back home, reset. And I, I did Instacart for like probably like two months, y'all. I did it for like two months, and I was like, you. One day I was just, I was there doing Instacart, and I was at um I was at a store opened up the app and then I wasn't getting any orders coming in and it was a Saturday or something like that it was the weekend I'm like this is strange the weekends be popping on Instacart I was at a really popular store and normally it'd be like 
I mean, you open up the app, app, it's like 30 orders in the queue, like popping, okay? And I live I live in a military area, so there's a lot of military who putting in um, Instacart orders because they don't want to go grocery shopping on the weekend, but they need their stuff. So I thought it was odd. And mind you, I had already been feeling like, this is, is this chasing money? And like, you are, this is out of alignment with who you are too. Like, what are you doing? And so I opened up the app. I, I wasn't getting the orders and I thought it was strange. And this feeling just came over me and me like, dead this shit, like you are moving backwards and uh, number one it's not in line with who you are number two you chase the money you're supposed to be attracting it number three it's taking away so much hours from your home your craft and your kids that's the reason you stop working so you can focus on your craft and this is this is taking away time from your craft so i was like i was scared like okay but if i don't am i gonna accumulate x amount of money to pay these bills and and I realized that's fear, Ebony. That's fear. Yet again, you're not you're not trusting in God. You 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 trusted in a a job. It's not a nine to five punching the clock, but it's a job. And then you know when you're delivering these orders to people in their houses, they automatically are like looking down on yourself. I said, Oh hell no! Like you don't know who I am. <laughs> you do not know who I am. And I, I was. No, no cockiness aside, but when you know who you are, you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know who y'all are. And I know who I am. So I was like, this is not okay. Like, I got to stop this. You're operating out of fear at me. Stop. So I went home and I, I just said, God, if I'm doing the right thing, give me a sign. If I'm not doing the right thing, if I need to be Instacarting to make up the extra money, like, let me know. I was like, God, please. I don't know what to do. And I said, Emmy, you operating out of fear. Stop, stop sounding like a peasant. You are not a peasant, Ebony. Stop at talking to God like a goddamn peasant. You are supposed to be commanding stuff. Stop it. So I was like, okay, stop it, Ebony. Focus on what you need to be doing. So then I started watching um, um, motivational videos on YouTube and getting back in the flow. Like, okay, you know, building up my confidence, saying my affirmations in the mirror, really start working it because I noticed that once I stopped or slowed down, on working my mental and work it's a it's a job y'all it's a job and i slowed down because i started to see results but when i slowed down fear kicked back in and i started to instacarty and i started to have worry so i was like this is literally a job i have to wake up in the morning and set the tone for my day know who you are know what you deserve know what's coming to you know what's going to happen and that's it that's it so I started, let me give you guys some of the affirmations that I say throughout the day. Like I walk around my house and I say these things. Um, I say, um, I am prosperous. The money that I want wants me to. I love landing new clients back to back to back. I love making new sales back to back to back. I love helping people. God, the people who book sessions with me, who call me, who um, who rely on me, who who invest in me, bless them. Anything that they spend on me and my business because I'm operating in my gifts, let them be, let it come back to them 10 times 10. We circulate in knowledge. We circulate in positivity. We circulate in good energy. Anything that my clients spend on me, let it go back to them times 10. God, bless my clients. Um, I will be walking around my house saying these things. Um, I will be saying, I expect new deposits in my bank account every day. I expect the universe to pay my bills. I expect God to take care of me. Um, really just setting the tone throughout the day in my house, in my environment, really switching it up. Because when you have those negative thoughts, it's projected in your reality. That's where the, the lack comes in. And um, I really wanted to focus on making my house you know, a sanctuary. And so I had to get, really get that momentum flow and that get, really get that positive energy flowing throughout the house. Um, just walk around saying, um, I expect new money every day. And using the word new is good because you want to be grateful for the money that you have and you are grateful for the money that you have. But when you say you expect new money, listen, new money come. Okay. <laughs> um, so you... So j just walk around and say those affirmations. That's what I was doing. Um, and if we fast forward to today, um, I feel at peace. I um, 
I feel at peace. I know that I just know that the bills are taken care of. I don't worry about how, when, why. I just know that I'm in alignment with abundance. I know that I'm a great receiver. I know that I'm living my purpose. I know that um, I am pleasing God. I know that I'm giving back to the world. I know that I'm doing what fulfills me and what satisfies me. And when you go within yourself and you do what within yourself, you can't fail. You are the creator of your own reality. You are the creator of your own destiny. When you go within yourself, you cannot fail. You've got to have the faith. You've got to um, reprogram your mind. You've got to knock out those limited beliefs. You've got to get rid of those doubts. You've got to get rid of that fear and and do, do these things that I'm telling you guys to do. Do the mirror work. Do the um, affirmations in the morning. Do the affirmations before you go to bed. Um, visualize. I love to visualize about the things that I want. Um, I like to visualize about, right now, currently in this moment, I'm visualizing about money. Um, so what I do right before I go to bed is I lay down and um, I visualize me picking up my phone, touching that bank app, putting my pen in my bank app, and put my pen in my bank app and then when it, when the bank opens and it loads I put I visualize x amounts of dollars in my checking account x amount of dollars in my savings account and I run it I loop it I run it like 15 times in my brain right before I go to sleep I'm visualizing about money and then um unc <laughs> let me tell you how it's working because I'm half sleep dozing off doing this and then unconsciously I'm I'm saying to myself it'll just I'll, I'll just spit it out not even thinking I'll say I love new money half sleep and I'm like I'm like okay my brain it's working like my brain is working um I just ordered a poster that has money on it I just ordered a rug that has money on it um I have a screensaver on my phone that has money because what what you visualize and what you see in your reality the more you see money the more your subconscious mind is going to think that that's normal and start to create money for you and create circumstances that bring money into your into your um into your experience so i want you guys to download some money you know download some pictures of money on your phone have a screensaver um um i have change laying around it doesn't matter it could be pennies the universe doesn't discriminate it doesn't worry about the value of a dollar it doesn't worry about money is just money because money is an energy is one energy so it doesn't matter from a penny to one dollar to a hundred dollar to a thousand dollars i have change laying on my on my um, dresser, I have change laying um, on my counter in the shower. I have um, some money hanging up on my wall. I have money on my phone. Literally, I make money a normal thing in my experience. I, I When I walk around my house, I see money. And money keep flowing to me. Um, my my kids, you know, we they walk around the house and they see money. And money keep, money is flowing to them as well. I um, My oldest, he went to a friend's house and he's like, he messaged me. He's like, Mama made some money today. And I'm like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah. The lady next door just asked us um, if we would help her move her mattresses. And my friend's mom said that we could. She's a really nice, she's an old lady. So we moved her uh, mattress and she gave us $30 each. And I'm like, and so I'm telling him, do you see how that, how money is coming to your experience? You're not out there looking for the money. You're attracting that money, son. That lady has been living next door to, to your friend for how long? But the moment you come over there, she at the door talking about money. <laughs> I'm like, son, you're attracting that money. He's like, I am, huh, mom? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, expect to tra attract money, son. You're going to continuously attract money. Expect it. So that's another thing, you guys. I did a short on um, the law of expectancy. What you expect is going to happen, okay? So start to expect good things to happen. You start to expect good things to come into your experience. Start to expect your businesses to thrive. Tar start to expect that you're going to be provided for um, financially start to expect these things because remember you live in a friendly abundant universe a universe designed to serve you okay you guys um it, it's been a true journey i thank you guys for tuning in with me i thank you guys for listening uh, still to this day i you know i, I still like oh, okay where is this money gonna come from but i'm i'm trying not to worry about it i'm just trying to more so just stay in the flow god you got me you've been having me it's been nine months y'all it's been nine months and i haven't been you ain't filmed me yet. <laughs> so I try to remember that. It's been nine months. You ain't been, you ain't broke. You ain't homeless. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? In this moment, I have everything that I need. And uh, that's another thing that I, um, that I focus on when I start to feel like, 
when I feel Karen kicking in, Karen, shut it up. I'll look in the mirror and I'll say, um, in this moment, because it's important to live in the moment. When you live in the moment, that's how you manifest tomorrow. But when you're worried about tomorrow, you're manifest more of, um, experiences that are not good for you for the next day and the next day. So living in the moment, I'm like, in this moment, Ebony, you have everything that you need. The fridge is full. Your bills are paid. You have gas. You have a, a running car. Like you're alive. Like all of your, your, your rent is paid. Like in this moment, you don't need anything. And it, and it's supposed to be this way. You have everything that you need. In this moment, you're taken care of. In this moment, you're protected and provided for. So that's another um, tool that I use to stay to, to help me manifest for tomorrow and help me manifest for the future. Stay in the moment, you guys, because in this moment, but did you die? No, we go through these, but did you die? No, if you're here right now today, looking at this video, you're blessed. Focus on that, okay? And that's another thing. I can go on and on all day, you guys. Gratitude, okay? I wake up and I'm grateful, okay? So when you're manifesting money, you don't be afraid to manifest money, y'all. I talk to a lot of clients who are afraid to say, God, I want $40,000. God, I want $50,000. Do not be afraid to tell God what you want. So when I'm manifesting money, I like to say, you got to be grateful. You have to show gratitude. I am so grateful and thankful for every penny that I have in my bank account. I'm grateful for the new money that's flowing to my bank account. I'm grateful for the money that is flowing to me tomorrow. I'm grateful for the money that's flowing to me in the next day. I'm grateful for new deposits every day. I'm thankful for every dollar I have in my bank account to the very last cent. I am grateful. New money makes me happy. Seeing all this money in my bank account gets me excited because those feelings and emotions are key to implement um, into your gratitude. Okay, you guys? Well, I'm not going to keep on going on and on and on about this, but it's been nine months, you guys, and I am keep on swimming. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Um, <laughs> I'm not in poverty. I'm not homeless. So I'm hoping that this video gives you guys some courage, give you guys some strength. Um, reach out to me if you want to, to learn how to transition from your nine to five into your dreams and goals. I'm going to put my email in the description or, and it'll be the first comment pinned. Um, I'll put the link to book a session with me. Um, if you are learning from this channel, if you are getting inspired by this channel, if you are getting encouraged by this channel, Channel, feel free to donate to this channel. Um, I need more equipment to keep making content for you guys. Uh, I, I, I just want to keep on um, putting this positivity out there for you guys. So if you feel it in your heart to donate, I will leave a cash app um, down with all the other information. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here on my journey. I am going to keep you guys posted on my journey every step of the way because this is real life. Like, <laughs> It is so crazy, but this is what I'm doing. This is what it is. And and I know that other people, I am not the only one who um, aspire to do this. So I know that there's a lot of you guys. I encourage you guys to step out on faith. Okay. I love you guys so much. Have a great day.